It's been a tough season for the Real Housewives of New Jersey. Well, a tough few seasons. Amid cast shakeups and other franchises, it seems like Andy Cohen and the powers that be at Bravo have finally taken a hint and are rebooting the wives of the Garden State. On a recent episode of Andy Cohen Live on Sirius XM, Cohen took a call from a very disgruntled fan named Joe, who was bored to death over the recent storylines and wanted a change in soon. Well, I mean, have you heard that we're going to do big changes to the show? Cohen asked Joanne, who had not heard that. Joanne is fully into her complaint about how upset she is about the storyline between Melissa Gorga and Margaret Josephs, and don't even get her started on Joe Gorga, when Cohen reassures her that change is indeed afoot. All right, so we're rebooting the show, thank you Joanne, Cohen said when he could finally get a word in edgewise. We're going to reboot it. We're going to do something different. Joanne is not done however, and she wants OG housewife Teresa Giudice to stick around, claiming she will always get in trouble, that's how she is, but everyone else is boring, and their only storyline is Teresa. Okay, a clearly exasperated Cohen continued, so you want Teresa to stay on the show? Joan doubles down and declares that Teresa is the show, then backs the car up and careens through the Lincoln Tunnel back to her original point of how boring everyone is, except Teresa by which point Cohen has had enough. Okay, all right, okay, we got it, Cohen said. We're gonna see what we do. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe just all fresh faces. While Joan seems like a saint among people, she's wrong about Teresa. It's time for her and the rest of the cast to go. Well, maybe not Dolores Catania, the Switzerland of Real Housewives of New Jersey. This season saw the women split into two factions. On one end, there's Gorga, Josephs, Rachel Fuda, Danielle Cabral, and Jennifer Fessler. And on the other, there's Judy Che, Jennifer Aiden, and Jackie Goldschneider. Catania somehow manages to get along with everyone, which is why she deserves to stay. We, as viewers, need a calming presence, a level head, a voice of reason, if you will. And that will never be Teresa. Still, when Entertainment Weekly interviewed Judy Che last year ahead of the 13th season, she had no intention of going anywhere. Listen, he started this. I'm the OG, and I'm sticking, Judice said. I want to ride the wave till it's done. Because right now I'm so happy. I just got married. I think every year I bring it to you guys. Right. And while she indeed does bring it to us at every ball, one can't help but feel she's given enough, too much, to this show and deserves to bow out gracefully. Just a few weeks ago, however, Judice again resisted the idea of retirement, telling Kelly Ripa, I'm not leaving. I started the show. When Bravo wants me to leave, that's when I'll leave. Because of these dueling factions, there will be no season 14 reunion. But instead, page 6 reports, the cast filmed two separate watch parties to view the season finale. That sounds great. Of course, just about any time a franchise skips a reunion means somebody or somebody's are getting fired, see. The completely rebooted Real Housewives of New York. At this point in the game, that's probably for the best.